Howdy folks, it is Lanzo90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Factorio. Alright, let's get iron going. Let's come up like one more tab here. Get a lot more transport belts as usual. So we'll have one streak of this. Just keep going the way it's going, I suppose. Kind of leaving a lot of negative space there, but it should be okay. All right. Let's see if we can make a blueprint here. If we do this... All this, like, boundary. So, see, this is really useful. Actually, we could bring this whole thing down to, like, here, huh? Let's do that, then this blueprint on us. So you can make a little blueprints like that. It's not going to place it all on all... Yeah. It's not going to place all automatically. It's going to place it as a ghost image. But that's still really useful. Because <laughs> now we don't have to do it all by hand. Or we don't have to do the guesswork, basically. You have to do this part manually because I didn't copy it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be exactly the same at that part, so. So we get more of that going. As you can see, it speeds things up. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It speeds things up quite a bit. I think you can. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I'm not too worried about this. And put that in the book at least. We'll talk about that more later, but basically that's just a way to store lots of different blueprints. More inserters. power lines. Let's go grab our iron. See, just by moving stuff around, we've been continually picking up coal. <laughs> Put down these power lines while we're waiting. Not quite enough to get get that done with one pull, but that's okay. And I gotta get the electric miners down. Like so. like this to be just like one step down I don't know it's kind of messed up though yeah it's fine I like to have like a one tile gap between my tracks if I can it just helps it just helps for the future 
if I do it like that. If I need to squeeze a little belt in here later for some reason, it does happen a lot, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I'll be able to. Alright. Yanking this out. Permanent setup going. Do need more long handed inserters though. And regular ones by the looks of it. Uh, oh yeah, regular ones. as we did for the other. I'm still using my inventory for this, even though I shouldn't. It's in our hot bar now. All right. Now we just got to expand production. More of these going. Those built really quick. They must have speed up the speed that these get built in now. These bad boys going. I mean, it's so much more iron than copper. That's why I'm building so many here. There we go. All right. Now I really don't need this coal for anything. We'll just preload them, because these uh, the inserters will only fill them up so much. And there we go. Both automation lines are done for the base resources. We'll have to keep an eye on our power now, because we're using a lot of inserters now. They've changed this map here, so you have to bear with me as I figure out what all this means. <laughs> I think production's basically what we want to look at. If this goes like yellow and it's hitting this, I think that means we need more power. All right, now we're okay. But yeah, now we're really cranking out pollution. Something that we have to start thinking about. But now, let's get red science going automatically. We can now build the legendary hub. See, I think iron's gonna have to, like, go this way. Because we're gonna need more space for iron production. It's gonna take a while before this space here gets iron, uh, mined out so we can use this. It's gonna have to go up. So the iron really has to go this way. Now I'm gonna let it keep going into the thing because we're gonna be finagling things quite a bit here. So we need all the iron. All the iron at all times. Here we go. The start of the hub. We need to get gear wheels and copper wire going automatically. Both will require splitters. going to be a little annoying. Hopefully they mine this out and I can use the space here because mm, it's not really far enough away from the hub to... I think I do have to just uproot the spaceship, unfortunately. All 
Alright. So first things last. We're gonna need some uh some of these boys as well. Make iron gears. I guess gave iron plates. So we'll just uh we can take them off here. I don't have to pack things in super tight. It can cause us issues actually, really. This man. Need all sorts of things. I'm so used to having everything ready to go. <laughs> Eventually we'll get there. Eventually we'll be building inserters and transport belts automatically. Double checking power. Seems good. First inefficiency, we do not have enough miners to account for uh, the amount of iron that we need. Okay. Gear wheels. Got one a lot, especially in the wrong run. I guess that did have to go one more space out. Small electrical poles leave something to be desired, but this is the best layout you can do with them. When you upgrade these to mediums, then you can use these spaces that don't they don't quite touch. Okay, and then they're gonna put them on a line that goes back into the hub. Like so. Wish this was a fast answer. <laughs> power to come in through like the middle all right goodbye box an inserter all right we are gonna need four more mining drills so now we're gonna have gear wheels that'll help us a little bit I'm going to prevent problems that I'm already I was already having in our multiplayer game. Where I wasn't boxing things up as I go, but I really should be. I feel like I need these gear wheels. And I need the iron plates. But I just leave it because I know, oh, I'm just going to expand things out later anyway. I don't need to bend these things up, but no, I do. Actually, I kind of don't need to on the copper. <laughs> copper might not be necessary. Let's grab the electric drills. Let's see. It's a little tricky because we have to mine a larger area on this strip. I'm not used to the miners looking this way either. They are very strange to me. Like, typically, I put them back to back like this. But then I don't think I'd be able to put one here without being able to... I wouldn't be able to mine this stuff, basically. Something like that. They are powered, but... We're going to need an underground. 
underground belt. Not my cleanest setup here, but. Basically, you don't want to leave like little corners around because then they're just going to annoy you in the long run. So I had to put one here, even though it's like it messes everything up, but it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Now we got some gear wheels. Production will go a little bit quicker on our inventory, especially on things like transport belts. Now we can just build the transport belts themselves. Now, it's time for, once I find them, <laughs> copper wire. Basically, we're going to do the exact same thing. Like this they've cleaned this up it used to be when you're telling them like what to build it would show everything in the game <laughs> even stuff you don't have unlocked it's very nice not to have to anymore copper wire is kind of crazy right now it can just go like this but it does get a little strange in the future I don't know how long I'm going to use this box for copper wire, but for now we're putting it down because it's going to be pretty useful to have on us. How's power doing? We're getting there. So let's work on expanding our power. We're going to need another boiler, another two steam engines, and another burner inserter. Give me your iron plates. Your iron plates. Hand them over. Okay. Boiler. So this is why I tried to build one pipe earlier. Do that. Then you toss the boiler in. And because you put a space there with the pipe, those uh, power poles can stay there, which is kind of important. And there you go. We've doubled our power output in two seconds. Next step is going to be red science. Red science is made with copper plates and iron gear wheels. So, I'm afraid this is the end of the line for all these. <laughs> we had them for a very short amount of time, but that's okay. Iron gear wheels and copper plates. This is where we start going over and under and side to side and left to right and blah, 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 blah. It gets very complicated. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to verbally explain it, I don't think. But I'll try my best. So, we still want copper gear or iron gear wheels on the line, so we're splitting them off because we need those to split them off. Um... Copper plates have to come over here and join the iron gear wheels. So, iron has iron plates have to go underground. Iron gear wheels have to go underground. Copper wire does not, right? Yeah, copper wire is fine. And then our plates have to stay on the line, but also be split off. Like so. And there you go. It's done. And now you might be like, oh, our science is over there, though. Why are we going to send it this way? Does not matter, because we're going to move our science anyway. Going to need more assembly machines. Go like 
that. So now we're closing in on the point where in moments we're going to be way faster than any other method of producing the science. As I said before, well, might have been able to produce more science in the past if you set up something like really early just producing science, but you don't have it set up long term. This is going to produce red science for till the end of time, basically. We don't even have to think about red science anymore. Not necessarily. We might run into a shortage and we'll have to expand this, but right now, it's done. We don't have to think about it. All right, so the science hub is another kind of complicated design that we have to think about here. In fact, we're going to clear out some trees here. Since I doubled our pollution output, we might expect an attack soon. We might have to do a quick patrol of our border on foot. It'll take a while. Okay, what we want to do is we want to leave room to expand that science there if we have to. But then effectively, there's like, f uh, let's see, there's, oh, we can just look. There's six different types of science, and only two things go on each line. So, two types of science here, two types of science here. Oh, we need a third track. So we build a big hub like this. And then we want space here, because we have to give, leave space for the hub. Say, so, okay, this is where our science is going to go. Let's be one space away. Everything else. We need a lot of these because as time goes on, you need more and more science to get things done. But for now, we're just going to use these four. Same kind of two by two layout that we've always been doing here. Actually, let's just connect them here. Makes more sense. Okay. We're going to be here a while while these get produced. Actually, let's uh, knock that one off and this one off. We can grab copper wire and speed this up a little bit. Perhaps copper wire should still be going in the box, but that's okay. Alright, so right now, red science is going in on this line. So this line, just regular inserters work, but this one is going to need long inserters opposing those. And then in the future, we're going to be using this line. And it's going to have to do the same thing here. Grab like this. Oops. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. And really, like, we don't really need that right now. Something like this, and then in the future we'll also need one more line. We don't know which way it's going to face exactly. But just to remind us that we need space here to do this. Uh, excuse me. And there we go. Science. As you can see, it's not saturating. Those four science bays, so I'm gonna make more. By the way, all the uh, science labs are named after like uh, sponsors. Uh, not sponsors, but uh, oh, what's that thing called? <laughs> we'll just research the easy stuff first here. Backers. They might have used Patreon. I'm drawing a blank on that original thing that let you back things. I cannot think of it. Well, we're all out of time. I'll figure it out in the between episodes, I guess, here. If you enjoyed the video, 
Remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.